Hello. Hello. <laughs> What are you doing here? You invited me. That's right, I did. Well, you look great. We match in our black shirts. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That's the biggest thing that we have to think about is what shall we wear. She you... called me and she asked, what are you going to wear? Yeah. We need to match. <laughs> Now, the first, first tune is one I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have thought you would know. It's a, such an old tune, mean to me. Where did you learn that tune? I just, I started singing it when I was playing in bars and restaurants. I think somebody asked me if I learned it, if I could learn it or if I knew it and I looked it up and I found it somewhere. <laughs> you know, if you, if you played in bars and restaurants, you could learn all kinds of tunes. That's how I learned a lot of tunes. Yeah, me too. That and the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I see no reason why we shouldn't do that tune. What do you think? Okay, let's do it. Shall we do it? Yeah. Here it goes. did you get started singing when you were a little girl? Did you just... I started singing in church choirs when I was about six or seven. And I always liked music, but when I really started singing was I started listening to Aretha Franklin and trying to sing like her, which, which didn't really work out, but <laughs> it was really good practice, you know, just singing along to someone like that. And I got into jazz when I was about 11 or 12. My mom started taking me to shows and then I started then trying to sing like jazz singers like Billie Holiday and Sarah Vaughan and Dinah Washington. That's kind of how I learned to sing, just by trying to imitate those people. Well, how about piano? Because you play nice, bluesy piano. Oh, thanks. Uh, I started taking piano lessons when I was seven, and I quit after five years, and then I got back into it. I just liked well, it. You, you're not taking lessons now, though. I haven't. I probably should. I haven't taken lessons in a couple of years because I haven't really been home, but I, you know, I think it's great to take lessons. Well, but where's a better place to practice? On the job. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what I've always done. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> I mean, like, right now is a good time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next? Let's see. What should we do next? Um, oh, yeah. oh, one of 
my favorite tune, Love a Man. Yeah. I used I to know. sing I, it. It's one of the first tunes I learned. It's funny. I get surprised, actually, that somebody as young as you comes up with all these old tunes, you know, it sort of surprises me, but you've got great taste, you pick such good songs, you Oh, know. thanks. Well, to you and me, maybe. <laughs> maybe well, not to I everybody, think everybody, but I, I think, think everybody so. out there likes them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a choice. <laughs> All right, love a man.
That was great. That was fun. That was a little bl bluesy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I haven't done that in so long. It's so nice to hear that song again. Do it again. How do you, um, like, pick songs for a show? How do you know what you're going to do? Well, nowadays, I mean, we do a lot of songs from the CD, but the CD's been out for about a year and a half, so we also do a lot of new songs that we've written, and uh, we like to do a lot of covers. We do, like, country covers. Sometimes I do a standard. But uh, we just try to pick songs that fit in. So the next song, I, it would be a cover. <laughs> and a standard. A, a, and a standard, <laughs> wouldn't it? I could remember Nat Cole doing, doing this tune, um, Walk In My Baby. I think that's where I heard it first, yeah. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Okay. You want it? I've got to get the key right. It's in key of G, right? It's in G, yes. Okay. Here it goes. Okay.
I love the way we did that because it, you know, it wasn't the way we rehearsed it. I know we rehearsed it totally differently. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, that's that's what's such fun about jazz. You can you can take something and do it a little differently. I mean, I, I could just tell by the way you were looking where you were going to go. <laughs> you know, it was nice. I mean, you played. It was fun. Yeah, because I'm glad it worked out okay. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Well, how could it, how could it not? You know. <laughs> Well, there's more to come with Nora Jones live from the 2003 Tanglewood Jazz Festival. What can we do um, like a nice ballad? Well, my mom asked me to do this song because I used to sing it in high school and college and I haven't done it in forever, so I guess we could do this song. Spring can really hang you up the most. I like this one to play on it. never left the post I lie in my room staring up at the ceiling spring can really hang you up the most morning's kiss wakes trees and flowers and to Drink the toast I lay on the shelf Just to kill the lonely hours Spring can really hang you up the most All went along The birds, they twitter, twitter This is love, this is it Heard it before And I know the score And I've decided That spring is a bore Doctors wise Prescribed a tonic didn't help a bit My condition must be chronic Spring can really hang you up The most I'm all alone The party is over Old man went to work A gracious heart Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now, I see written here a tune by, by Duke Ellington. You must have studied Duke a little bit to dig up this tune, which... Mm -hmm. How did you find this tune? Mel? Well, I mean, everybody loves Duke Ellington, right? I love Duke Ellington, and um, there's a CD called Piano Reflections, and... Was it solo Duke? This song was solo. The whole CD isn't solo, oh. but uh, it's a beautiful CD. And I heard this song on there, 
and it was solo, and it was, it really moved me. I thought it was beautiful. I got kind of obsessed with it one afternoon, and I learned it, and I really wanted to sing it, but it had no lyrics, so I was sort of inspired to write some lyrics because I really wanted to sing it. Um, it's kind of sacrilegious, I know, to write lyrics to a Duke Ellington song, but I really love the song, so I thought I would, and, and hopefully it's okay. I hope he doesn't mind. I'm dying to hear it. It, this song needs a lyric. It's just a beautiful song, and I really want, I wanted to sing it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right. The song is called Melancholia. Not only a beautiful song, but Duke would love that. I don't know. I would hope so. I would cry if he didn't. <laughs> oh. I know. I think he wrote that song for his mother, so it was kind of hard to put lyrics to it. I didn't really want to, you know, mess with it, but I just really wanted to sing it. <laughs> oh, that should be on your next album. We'll see. Shouldn't it? Isn't it? Well, let's see, what have we, let's, we've got something we can both do here, here, and I think this is one I wanted to hear you do tenderly. Yeah, you chose this one. And, and didn't we say we can do it in the key of A? That's right. Are you going to play on it? No, I don't think I'm going to play on this one. I want to hear her play more. She's so good. She, it's... I'll just sit here and if, I might play, but you play it. The evening breeze caress the trees 
hands tenderly The trembling trees embrace the leaves tenderly Then you and I came wandering by And lost in our The shore was kissed by sea and mist tenderly. I can't forget how two hearts met breathlessly. Your arms opened wide and held me inside. You took my lips, you took my lips. Forget how two hearts met breathlessly. Your arms open wide and they close me inside. You took my lips, you took my heart so tender. I see something here that I said I would do, and that is a musical portrait of you. Wow. Yeah, well, that's right. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know. How many know. people get that? I don't know if it is. By Miss Marion McParland. <laughs> it's just sort of like, you know, thinking of what I know about you and uh, as a person, and you know, just try to put it into musical. Terms. Cool, I can't wait All to right. hear. I'm gonna sit over you there. You want to go over there? I'm gonna go over there and listen. Okay.
That's the coolest ever for me. That's great. I just had an idea. Yeah. We were talking about the blues and, the, and, and I thought maybe we could do summertime because that is a blues. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you, you want don't me to... have to sing it. We could play it. Yeah, we'll just play it. I mean, we'll just let loose. You want it? You sure you want me to sing it? Okay. <laughs>
Well, let's see. What can we do? Um, easy living? Yeah, you want to do that one? I do. I'd like to do that. Cool.
living for you is easy living. It's easy to live when you're in love, and I'm so much in love. You must have been listening to Ray Charles. <laughs> that was wonderful. I loved it. You, you can applaud it. Yeah. You know, we're having such a good time. I'm speaking for myself. I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. Unfortunately, it all has to come to an end. I can't believe we've, we've only got one more tune to do. Thank you for being so nice. Thanks for coming. We're going to wind up with a good old Gershwin tune, A Foggy Day in London, and you've got to really play more on this one. Okay. <laughs> all right? Thank you. 
Thank you so much. You've just been wonderful.